Roman numerals. Have you ever seen a clock that looks like this? The digits look more like letters than numbers, right? That's because they are. These symbols are called Roman numerals. Roman numerals use uppercase letters of the alphabet to show numbers. Roman numerals are a numbering system created 3,000 years ago. By looking at the name Roman numerals, can you guess who designed this system? Did you say the Romans? That's right. What about the name numeral? Have you heard this word before? Numeral is just a fancy name for number. So, Roman numerals is a numbering system created by the Romans. Pretty cool, huh? The ancient Romans used these symbols to add, subtract, and count numbers without using zero. Roman numerals are written by using a combination of letters from the Latin alphabet. Today, Roman numerals use seven different letters to represent specific numbers. When we combine those letters, we can make any number from one to even one million. Take a look at this chart to see all seven Roman numerals and their values. I equals one, V equals five, X equals 10, L equals 50, C equals 100, D equals 500, and M equals 1,000. Now that we've learned the seven different Roman numerals, it's time to learn how to read and create bigger numbers using them. Here are a few rules to help you figure things out. Ready for rule number one? First, you will never use more than three of the same numerals in a row. For example, when you write the number four, you are not going to use four eyes. And if you were writing the number 40, you won't use four X's. So, how do you write those numbers? We'll show you right after we talk about rule number two. The second rule you should remember is that a smaller numeral, like I, written before a larger numeral, like V, means to subtract its value. Are you thinking, wait, what? I have to do math? Don't worry, it's not as tricky once you see how it works. Let's do an example together. If you write the number four, the Roman numeral would be I, V, because five, minus one equals four. Now try one on your own. What do you think the numeral for the number nine would be? If you said I, X, you're exactly right. Great work. Using the same rule, what do you think the Roman numeral for 40 would be? Let's do this one together and take another look at our chart for some help. The first rule told us we can't have more than three numerals in a row. So we know we can't use four X's. We need to see what combination of Roman numerals will give us the correct number. Let's look at our next numeral and see if that can help us. L equals 50. Hey, that's 10 more than 40. What if we use the symbols X and L to create the numeral 40? But which letter goes where? That's right! The X goes before the L. Because we're subtracting the smaller number 10 from the larger number 50. Are you getting the hang of it? Great! Ready for rule number three? If you write a smaller numeral after a larger numeral, you add its value. For example, the number six would be written V-I because five plus one equals six. Here's another example. To make the number 57, we use L 
because L equals 50 and V to add 5 more. So far we have 55, but we need 57. What letters should we use to add 2 more? If you said 2 I's, then you've got it! 57 is written L, V, I, I. Great work! You're getting the hang of this! Let's try an even bigger number. How would you write the number 268? Let's break our numerals into groups to make things easier. First, let's start with 200. We know the Roman numeral C equals 100. So 2 C's equals... You guessed it! 200! Now let's look at the number 60. We've learned that L equals 50 and X equals 10. So if we add these together, we get 60. Last is the number 8. What Roman numerals would we use to create this number? Yep, we'd use 1 V and 3 I's. Add that to what we've already figured out and we have the Roman numeral for 268, which is C C L X V I I I. Wow, that is one big number. Now that we've practiced creating numbers, let's review. What number is missing from the Roman numeral system? Did you remember that it was zero? Great job! Here's a fill in the blank. You can only write the same Roman numeral blank times in a row. Three! Wonderful! True or false? A smaller numeral written to the left or before a larger numeral means to subtract its value. That is true! Good job! What alphabet do Roman numerals come from? Did you say the Latin alphabet? Great job! Now you know a different and unique way to write numbers and you have a couple of interesting facts to share with your friends. Keep practicing and always remember to have fun! Hope you had fun learning with us! Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.